What's going on guys? My name is Rafa aka The Crypto Network and I'm back with another video. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to long and short. Uh, I do realize I have other previous videos that I've mentioned on how to do this, but I don't have any updated versions with a better quality video and updated setup and just overall better audio. So hopefully this follows through and explains a really good job on how to actually do it. So I recommend you using an exchange that doesn't really have too many uh, too many things that requires you to set up before starting leveraging. Uh, but at the same time, not financial advice, you should be careful on what exchange you use. Most people for leveraging, they use Mexi because it has insane leveraging possibilities. And then most people also use KuCoin because there's no identity, uh, identity verification. So in this today's video example, I'm showing you that, hey, currently I have a fetch perpetual USDT long open. In this case, this is the, I'm going to be explaining everything step by step that this is the amount that I have leveraged. This is the total value of that leverage token, those leverage tokens. This is the entry price at which I entered, which is the exact price I showed you guys in the last market update video. I told you guys I was opening up longs on render fetch and chain link after the video. And right now, you know, fetch is currently sitting at a 2122 mark price, which is the current price of fetch. Um, I'm a huge fan of doing high margin, low leverage, because in my history, in my past, I'm more successful in my trades based off, basing off my analysis on the market update and direction of Bitcoin. So a lot of people recommend it to me. They're like, Rafi, dude, instead of you trying to do these crazy, like small margin and high leverage, why don't you just start switching to high margin, low leverage? And honestly, it's been working amazing for me. Um, I've made like 10, 15 K just this last month by doing high, high margin uh, trades and keeping them open on low leverage. So that's my recommendation that I do personally, but again, not financial, not financial advice. Liquidation price basically means if the price of fetch falls below this price, then you will lose everything. You will absolutely, your value, you will wake up and you will be at zero. Your leverage position, your future position, your account will be at zero. Again, the account I'm using is a test account. This account is just basically a burner I use for a uh, lifetime uh for the lifetime club again if you guys ever want to upgrade to lifetime and not pay monthly payments after 10 months you're in the disco for free by paying the one-time payment of 400 dollars. i was planning on increasing the price but there was just too many complaints about why it doesn't make sense to increase the price from 400 to 800 so you know what i won't even speak on lifetime anyone wants to upgrade they can upgrade it and i won't really talk about a debate about increasing the price again so i thought i'd mention that in this video as well so now the margin that i'm using is currently 2x to 3x this is where I feel comfortable using because obviously I'm trading with a larger margin, in this case, $13,326. And that's my my position. That's my margin. That's my total capital I've spent on this position. So if I lose everything and it goes below that liquidation price of fourteen twenty three, dollars then that's how much money I will end up losing. It will be $13,341. Now my realized PL, don't really know uh, why it's outdated. That's not correct. I open this position at 18 point something and i haven't really lost so i guess it's just a mix up there unrealized pnl is basically money that i'm currently in profit this is my profit but again i it's unrealized because i haven't sold and again you don't make money until you sell so right now it's at three thousand nine hundred twenty two dollars so of the thirteen thousand i've made i've made profit 3.9 k uh again hopefully that explains everything as well and again this you guys can also always follow along uh, shorts and longs if you are a fan of high risk trades uh, in the lifetime club so that's what we do there but again i in this case scenario i told you guys on tiktok youtube and uh in the v last vip signal i told you guys as well which has been spot on bitcoin just actually touched twenty nine thousand dollars a couple of minutes ago while i was filming this uh prior to before i was filming this video now the take profit and stop loss, you edit this section right here and you can adjust what you want to take profit, which means, Hey, if I go to sleep and fetch goes to 40 cents, then it'll sell for how much, however much profit I'm in and stop loss. If Bitcoin dumps flash dumps again, and fetch happens to dump below 14.4, it'll close my position. I still keep some money instead of getting liquidated for everything. Um, auto deposit margin. I don't personally use this, so don't really have much feedback to really leave on it. And the limit and market, again, these are the only two things that I really use is limit is, hey, if I want to enter at a certain price, I would use limit. If I want to enter at market value, which means, hey, it's 220, for example, renders 229.89, but I want to get into a long or short right then and there, 
then I'm going to get a worse entry, if that makes sense. Always expect a like two or 3% higher entry or lower, uh, lower entry based off whether you're longing or shorting. So let's say I wanted to open a market buy on render. I'm not going to get 229.55 or whatever you see on the screen right now. I'm probably going to get 232, 233, just because, well, that's how market conditions work. The exchange will work to get you the like quickest amount of way to get your position open. And that means buying up positions that people are currently uh, selling the render tokens at. So most people don't really sell at 2933 or the actual value. They usually sell it higher because obviously why wouldn't you want to sell a little bit higher? So the exchange works on getting you uh, the best position possible at, in the fastest way possible. So in this case, the best position will have to be a little bit higher um, than what you're expecting. So always expect that dynamic to happen. Now, you also can see on the top right, right here is limited market, limit stop. I don't really use limit stop. I only use limited market. And again, you can always have all your entries in here based off what you want to do. So if I wanted to open a long I would, on render for $5, I would do 25% of whatever total capital I have is $36, $50, 50%, you know, 75% based off whatever I'm doing. And then I would just open buy long and sell short. And again, I personally use low leverage, a high margin. Uh, again, you can see I'm $4,000 on profit. For me, I just feel safer trading uh, low leverage, high margin because, well, I'm good at swing trading with high leverage and low margin too. But again, I know how to read the market. I've, I've been very accurate about reading the market and Bitcoin itself. And so I rather trade with Bitcoin and this is one of the recommendations that one of the lifetime members had told me to do that I should try switching it up because obviously, you know, I much rather be safer and make more money versus playing high risk just to make money. You know what I mean? In the fastest, faster way possible. This way I, I'm more disciplined and this way I'm more uh, contained with my trades. And yeah, with that being said, hopefully this answers all your questions and how to use it. Again, every exchange is a little bit different. If you want to switch contracts, you go here. You can type in whatever contract you want to look for and short and long if they have it available. Um, you can short up to 5x with no identity verification, but Mexi lets you do other stuff as well. Other exchanges have different rules, but again, not financial advice. This video is just to help you guys how to use it. And uh, just be careful. Uh, stay safe out there. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying these short and sweet tutorial videos that keep you guys one step ahead. Peace.